Hi, I'm Kevin Falvey, Editor-in-Chief of Boating Magazine here aboard StarCraft's 175 Outboard Sport. This is an affordable, trailerable, exciting boat. Take a ride with us and we'll show you what it's all about. Our test boat was powered by an Evinrude 90 horsepower E-Tech outboard engine, turning a 13 and 1 quarter by 17 inch three bladed aluminum propeller through a 2.25 to 1 reduction. Our test load was two people or 330 pounds and we were carrying 20 gallons of fuel. Our top speed was 36.8 miles per hour at 4900 RPM. Time to 30 miles per hour was 12.6 seconds. Time to plane, four seconds. And our most economical cruising speed was 23.2 miles per hour at 3,500 RPM, burning 3.7 gallons per hour for a net economy of 6.3 miles per gallon. One of the distinguishing features, probably the most distinguishing feature of this boat is that it's outboard powered. In this case, an E-Tech 90 by Evinrude. It provides power and speed up to 36 miles per hour and got us on plane in under four seconds. But there are other advantages besides performance and economy. For instance, the engine tilts completely clear of the water, allowing us to enjoy shallow coves, such as the one we're in now. Additionally, compared to a stern drive, guests seated in the aft lounge have an extraordinary amount of leg room. That's because the engine is mounted aft, not in a box contained within the cockpit. So outboard power provides you with great performance, shallower draft, and more legroom in the cockpit. Let's see what they did up front. A feature that really impressed me aboard StarCraft's 172 Outboard Sport was the fully bolstered bow cockpit. The cushions are fully gunnel height, real comfortable whether it's sitting or reclining. Underneath, they've incorporated a trash can. Again, very convenient. Inside the glove compartment, is a high-end audio system complete with an MP3 input. You can bring aboard your own tunes and really get the party going. Aft, on the swim platform, there's a recessed four-step stainless steel ladder. Whether for swimming, tubing, boarding, or water skiing, getting in and out of this boat is real easy. But you know, amenities aren't the only thing that make for a great day on the water. There's some practical features that I'm just dying to tell you about. Besides being loaded with amenities, StarCraft's 172 Outboard Sport is loaded with functional features. For instance, there's storage under these two seats. There's also massive ski and wakeboard storage in the cockpit sole. Additionally, there's mesh net storage in the side panels and two wet lockers on the swim platform. That's not all. We've got a sturdy grab rail positioned in three places along both sides of the boat. Wherever you move around, you can always find a firm handhold. And hardware, like these sturdy stainless steel cleats, are through bolted for security. What really sets the good boats apart from the rest of the fleet is the way they do the details. And probably the best way to show you that is here at the helm, where StarCraft has installed chrome bezeled gauges and a contrasting panel, backlit rocker switches, and a control box mounted for comfort and ease of use. StarCraft's 172 Sport comes in your choice of four colors. There's black, blue, champagne, and the fire engine red my test boat sported. It's also rated for up to a 130 horsepower engine, but it provided stellar performance and fantastic handling with the 90 horsepower Evinrude E-Tech installed aboard my test boat. For boating, I'm Kevin Falvey.